Welcome to Leap Reviews. I'm Charlene. Subscribe to my channel and like this video before we move along. And today I am here to give a Baltimore exclusive about the viral video of um, our Baltimore City Mayor, Brandon Scott, who was doing a press release. And there was some, um, what seemed to be a crazy heckler in the background screaming. And Brandon Scott addressed the guy, but he called the guy shorty. Space available. Uh, before we close and take a few questions, I wanted to address uh, the mandates I put in place of uh, restricting in-person dining and act activities that require you to remove your mask. Shorty, pull your mask up, man. Pull your mask up. I, we are heading into the fourth week of these mandates, and I want... And I recognize that Friday will, will, hold on one second, Shorty. Come on, man. Look, people dying, Shorty. You can be, you know I don't have no problem with that. But people need to hear this information because they dying. No, not you. People dying, Shorty. Stand, hold tight for a second. We are on campus for me. So as you can see in that clip, Brandon Scott, who is the new mayor of Baltimore City, was given a press conference probably to give updates about the cold COVID shutdown because I don't know if you guys know, but, you know, Baltimore City um, and pretty much places in Maryland were open for business and restaurants and things like that at limited capacity. Um, however, when the COVID results, when the COVID, you know, started to rise, um, you know, the governor kind of put stipulations that everything needed to close at 10 o'clock. And the mayor said that all of the restaurants um, are closed for indoor and outdoor dining. They are only able to be um, open for pickup and that they can do delivery and things like that. However, you know, a lot of Baltimore restaurant owners have been kind of pissed off about that, um, especially one called, I know, Jimmy Seafood um, on Hollabird up there near Dundalk area. Um, he was kind of upset about the situation because he said that he went out of his way to make accommodations for the new C-19 um, stipulations. And now they're not able to be open. So it seems like it was a waste of money, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So nonetheless, the Baltimore City Mayor was doing a press release, um, giving updates about probably the C-19 stipulations. And there was this heckler. And as you heard, he was screaming in the background. Brandon then tells the guy, look, pull your mask up, shorty. Shorty, pull your mask up. OK, so the video is going viral. Everybody's online like, oh, my goodness, I can't believe he said some people were like, oh, my goodness, he seems cool. Yes. Tell him. Tell him. Put his mask up. Yes. Do that. Um, and some people were like, oh, my goodness, like I can't believe he's talking like that. You know, that's unprofessional. Why is he calling? Why is he using Baltimore street slang, you know, to address this guy? You know, what happened to politicians being polished and whatnot? I don't know if I stated this before, but I'm from Baltimore. I live in Baltimore. I'm count the county area, but 10 minutes away. So, you know, I'm pretty familiar. You know, I follow, you know, local blogs and local news stations and things like that. So I'm privy to a little bit more information. Um, so this heckler, so to speak, shawty, um, who Brandon Scott addressed is actually a local Baltimore activist named Dwayne Shawty Davis. And he um, has been in Baltimore for about 30 years. Um, he is a side hustler. He sells hamburgers, hot dogs on the grill. Um, he also um, does a lot of Baltimore City organizing work. Um, he's worked with kids. He gives out food to the homeless. And about six years ago, the Baltimore Sun um, wrote an article about him. And um, it was kind of like a bio on this guy. And... Needless to say, the guy is a very interesting guy. I'm going to leave the link to the article um, of the Baltimore Sun down below. So if you want to look it up, you know, read the article to kind of really see um, the background of this guy named Shawty, you can do that. But Shawty is a guy, his real name is Dwayne Davis, okay? Um, he is a Baltimore activist and he sells food on the side. Now, 
what you guys probably did not see was there was footage of Shawty, um, Dwayne Davis, aka Shawty, with his um, own camera. So I'm about to show you a clip of Shawty's footage on his perspective and what he was saying and what he was doing and what he looks like. And check this video out so you can see some background information. And I'm giving the holla mic checking. Let my voice be known for 2013. They go over there. Huh? I'm going that way. Y'all so touchy. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year! Mike Check! Can you hear me now? Yeah. Hey, freedom of speech. Be nice. Play nice. All right, let's play nice. Keep our hands to ourselves. We will continue working closely with the CDC and Maryland. How you doing, Brandon? How you doing, Commissioner Harris? Can I get next? Please don't ask me to be quiet. Because that's my kind. Hey, Jane, how you doing? You got FCC violations with your station. Remember me now? You don't want to talk to me? Y'all was talking about me when I was locked up. I ain't locked up no more. You know what freedom is? The ability to stand in your face and talk about my freedom. That's what freedom is. So close at hand. We are to Commissioner Harris, how you doing, bro? Brandon, damn, silence is consent. Y'all got to deal with this for the next four years. You feel me? For the next four years. You were criminal justice, right? Sir, you were criminal justice, right? Yeah. That's ABC, Thank NBC, you. CBS. Uh, we are excited that the vaccine has arrived. And this Brandon Baltimore, Scott. And we will begin, as she said, uh, administering that. And today, we are grateful to the Senate. Y'all doing live feeds, and I'm going to be all the way live in 2021. The Department of Health for making these initial allocations to both. Man, I know they heat it. They can't do nothing about this. They got to eat this. I don't want, I ain't trying to hear that. I ain't trying to hear that. Y'all can cut all that. Covington campus for making their space. What's up, baby? Prime time, baby. How you doing? Ain't nobody never did y'all like this, but it need to be done. Corruption in 2020 gonna change. Hey, Brandon, you a, you a witness, right? I ain't gotta pull my mask up. He ain't got his on. Yeah, he ain't got his on. What's up, Commissioner Harris? Is you gonna take that criminal complaint I gave you? No, 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 Dog, I'm going to be live for the next two, four years, as long as you sit in office. Yeah, no. You already got my information. You done had it for over four years. Yes, I was dying. I was dying. You know what I'm saying? Y'all tried to kill me. Y'all put, no, shorty me. Yeah, yeah. No, don't do this. Give me, that, that, back up, back up. Don't do it. I ain't breaking no laws. I ain't breaking no laws. I ain't breaking no laws. Keep your hands to yourself. Cut on your body camera. Got your body camera? Cut your body camera on. Don't talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. I'm not stepping nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. We buddies ain't got shit to do with being friends. No, dog, I got 14 years of this shit. Cool down. Dog, my kids is dying. My, they used to put guns to my head. Y'all came into my house and put guns to my head. No, I'm not going to be quiet. No, I'm not going to be quiet. No, I'm not going to be quiet. Silence is consent. Period. If you got a constitution in your pocket, I converted you pull it out. If you got a body camera, you need to cut it on. We will be considering case rates, positivity rates, hospitalizations, and death. We Won't be no business as usual 2021. I'm going to leave now. I did what I wanted to do. I made my point, and you know how I am. You done been knowing me for 10 years or better. Keep your hands to yourself. So as you can see, you know, um, Shawty was pretty much, you know, crashing this press release because he is a Baltimore activist. And if you read the article, um, one of the first paragraphs of the article describes Dwayne Davis, a.k.a. Shawty, in this way.
When Dwayne Shawty Davis is it marching, demonstrating, training others on the ins and outs of organizing, working with the homeless, mocking and sometimes interrupting media outlets not up to his standards, or creating funny protest art in the form of college covered toilets that he leaves in front of buildings to potty train politicians, the then 56 year old is grilling. One thing that my family always did was barbecue. I'm from a place called North Chicago, Illinois, Zion, Waukee, and it's Lake County. And everybody knows how to grill. Turned it in from being fun into making a living out of it. Eight years old and I started uh, my business at Green Spring Station in uh, 1997. So next year it'll be 20 years in business. My son didn't have a choice to get involved because I couldn't afford babysitters. So what I did is not just my son, but all my kids know how to barbecue. Because I instead of taking them to the babysitters or whatever, I took them to my job. If they had trouble in school, I didn't leave them at home. I made them come to work. So I gave him a work ethic. You, see, you gotta learn a trade, a skill. So now he's a pit boss too. He can command his own wages. He can have control over his own destiny. Now, ain't everybody can cook on the grill. And he can do just as well as me, if not better. Well, my name's Philip. I'm Shorty's son. And I mean, basically, the, the um, secret to good barbecue, man, is you gotta have patience. You gotta, you gotta love your food like you love yourself. You know, build a good fire, control your flame, control your heat, and know how to organize your grill. So that was the first. Um, a uh, paragraph of this article that was written in the Baltimore Sun about D Dwayne Shawty Davis four years ago. So now he is 60 years old and he's still doing the same thing as this article stated four years ago, which is interrupting media outlets, interrupting po polit political events that are not up to his standards, okay? Um, <clears throat> What I will say is that, you know, Baltimore City is an amazing city and it has a lot of histo history that goes along with it. However, you know, it is a city that needs a lot of work. And it does seem like sometimes, well, not sometimes, it seems as though the politicians aren't doing that which, um, you know, that which needs to be done. Um, it, it's clear and evident and it's really sad. Um, so, you know, on one hand, this video clip that went viral, it seems like, oh, this Baltimore mayor is so cool, you know, or, oh, this Baltimore mayor is not professional, you know, this crazy guy is heckling in the background, but really it's just the Baltimore culture that only you guys got a glimpse to see, um, you know. The Baltimore mayor himself is from Park Heights, however, and, and you know, using shoddy and different slang words is a slang, you know, in the city. However, he was addressing this man by his by his name. His name is Shorty. Um, do I think that, you know, maybe the Baltimore mayor could have called him, you know, Dwayne, which was his first name? Maybe he didn't know his know him. Maybe he didn't know his first name and really just knew him by Shorty. Um, nonetheless, you know. You know, the grand scheme of the situation is way bigger. You know, Dwayne Shorty Davis is a um, Baltimore activist who grills <clears throat> on the side. It's pretty ironic that in the article it says that um, he doesn't really have permits and that he posts up and sells, you know, food. And even in the article it said that when he, um, before he moved to Baltimore and he's originally from Olu um, Illinois, that he used to slang dope, but he used to also sell food and sell plates and hamburgers and hot dogs and sell $2 shots at Henny and Crown Royal. <laughs> so it's like, dude, you, you do illegal shit too. But I guess it's like, yo, if, if I'm gonna get in trouble, you know, for if I'm, a, if y'all gonna try to kill me, if y'all gonna try to take me down, you know, for, for, for being illegal or not selling, gr grilling and having a permit, then y'all need to be living up to the standards that y'all are supposed to live up to. So I ain't mad at shorty. Um, but I thought it was really cool to kind of drop that background information. Um, the Baltimore mayor was not using Baltimore slang. He was not using, you know, cultural slang to address this heckler, the so-called heckler. Um, the Baltimore mayor knew this guy because he is 
in the neighborhood. He does events. He's gotten awards. Um, he is a Baltimore activist. He gives food to the homeless and he grills on the side. So he's not some random person, some crazy guy, even though he did sound a little bit crazy and looked a little crazy. But in retrospect, he's not some crazy guy. And the Baltimore mayor was not using Baltimore slang. The Baltimore mayor knows Dwayne Shorty Davis. Davis came up doing what he do with his political activism. And the mayor addressed him and y'all got a small glimpse of that. But this is a little bit of background information from Baltimore, Maryland. This is how shit goes. This is what, what it is. You got some exclusive information. And thank you for tuning into my video. Until next time, subscribe and I will see you guys later. Deuces.